Hello and welcome to Sunday School Extravaganza. My name is Arkes. I'm glad you're here today because we are going to learn about the first piece of God's armor, the belt of truth. Now, the belt of truth helps us to know if things that we hear and see are true or false. So, for our theme for Sunday School today is put on the belt of truth. Now, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. As we learn about your truth, touch our heart and give us understanding. These we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, and I want you to shout, Amen. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, you got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on. Hey there, folks, I'm Joe Miller coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be the most fun. We are going to meet Allison McCall. She's basically a world famous cupcake chef extraordinaire. Let's go get that story straight from the source. I am so excited to be here. Look at this deliciousness. Hey, Joe, cool to have you in the kitchen with me today. I'm whipping up a batch of cupcakes right now. Okay, so the viewers want to know, how do you do it? Your cupcakes are all anyone wants to talk about and eat. Sounds like you want to try one. Here, help yourself. Oh, yes, please. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. I've always loved creating recipes and baking cupcakes, so I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. That's awesome. And I will say, after reporting the news for so long, I've learned you really need to be careful online. You can't just click on any old video. There's lots of stuff out there that we are not supposed to see. You're exactly right. When I was building my channel, I had to be really careful with what I clicked on. Sometimes things weren't what they said they were gonna be. As a tip for everyone watching, always ask an adult to help when searching the web. 
And if you have a bad feeling about something or see anything that seems wrong, let them know right away. You are so right, Allison. Internet safety is extremely important. So tell us more about your channel. Well, I wanted to create a channel where anyone and everyone could follow along and make cupcakes of their very own. After making a few videos, I noticed I was getting a lot of comments and shout outs from the viewers. Most of them were really great, but some of them were not so nice. Who could say anything bad about these amazing cupcakes? Well, a couple of viewers started leaving comments saying I wasn't good at baking and that none of these recipes were actually mine. Well, please tell us that you didn't believe what they were saying. For a minute, I did. But then I realized I had to replace their lies with God's truth. You see, the devil was using tricky people to come against me, hoping that I would listen and stop doing what God made me to do. Well, it sounds like you had to put on the belt of truth for that one. That's exactly right. I know it's important to put on the full armor of God every single day. And the piece of armor that helped me the most was the belt of truth. The belt of truth helps all of us believe the truth that God says about us. And it sounds like it helped you so much with those mean comments. It totally did. Now my YouTube channel has tons of subscribers and is a huge success. And I even have a real bakery of my very own. So people can watch my show to learn how to make cupcakes or just swing by and pick one up right here. Best of both worlds. I love it. Well, I am so glad you used the belt of truth. If you would have believed those lies people said about you, we wouldn't be enjoying these tasty treats today. Thanks for letting us visit. Stop by any time. There will always be a cupcake with your name on it. Yes, thanks. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. One piece of God's armor is the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit is the Bible. When we remember what the Bible says, we can use it as a weapon against the devil's lies and tricks. The devil may try to trick us into thinking that God's armor is not that powerful, but we can memorize this verse to help us know the truth. Our memory verse today is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on all of God's armor, then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Amen. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is a Is alive. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. When God created the world we live in, there were two people named Adam and Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden, and they were friends with God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed and told them that they could eat anything growing in the garden except for the food growing on one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve that if they did eat from that tree, they would die. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve had a very real enemy who wanted to twist that truth into a major lie. Their enemy was the devil, and because the devil can take on many forms, he came as a sneaky, sneaky snake. The snake came to Eve and asked her what God said about the fruit in the garden. Eve told him that God said if she ate from the tree, she would die. But the snake convinced Eve that that was a lie. He said, you won't die if you eat the fruit. You'll know things that you've never known before. Eve listened to the snake's lie and got distracted from the truth. Not only did Eve eat a piece of fruit, she also gave some to Adam. Right away they realized they had done something wrong. God punished them because of what they had done and made them leave the garden where they had been living. 
Adam and Eve chose to believe the lie that the devil told them over the truth that God had for them. At that moment, evil and death entered the world, and we're still battling them today. When we remember God's word, we put on the belt of truth. It is the part of God's armor that gives us the power to stand up against the lies that come our way. So when we hear things like, no one loves you, or you'll never be enough, we can know those are lies. God loves us, and because of that, he's given us all the tools we need to fight the enemy and win. With the belt of truth, we'll be able to detect lies and overcome them with God's powerful truth. We can put on the belt of truth. For our craft today, we are going to look at the belt of truth. Now, the belt of truth is the first piece of God's armor. It helps us to know if things that we hear or see are true or false. So, for our craft, I want you to draw a belt. Now, this is an example of what you can draw. You can choose to color it in so that it looks all pretty. Have fun! We have come to the end of Sunday School Extravaganza. But before we close in prayer, let us remember to put on the belt of truth. Lord Jesus, we are thankful for this time with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for equipping us with your truth. Teach us to seek it diligently and live in it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for worshipping with us today and have a blessed week. Bye.